RX44 with a great start. RXR2, RX44 are going to get there first. JBXC moves across to try and shut the door. Now, Dredge United, Harlan Kotlinski almost up the inside of Molly Taylor, but not quite. It's Christina Gutierrez who gets down to turn one with a whole shot, clearly in the lead. Molly Taylor, though, in P2, they run a bit wide in turn one. Slippery through there, Arlen Kotlinski third. It's Munnings in fourth. They can't see Lyra South. They're a long way back for Saint Tixi. Oh, oh, siding for JBXC. They've got all over the place, losing out on the, the traction on the grid. Have they lost a spot? Can they push themselves back in? Contact behind. They're so close. They're side by side. Arlen Kotlinski, I think, just managed to get past. So Arlen Kotlinski gets up past Munnings. I thought she'd lost it. I wonder if she's used hyperdrive through there. We just haven't seen it on the graphics. She had sudden sideways in the background. Sounds was sideways too. And Arlen Kotlinski is making her drive on the mirror. She's now used her hyperdrive to try and get past Taylor. As we see over the jump goes Gutierrez. Sands uses her hyperdrive too. Oh, alongside JVXC look for the pass on RXR. Michaela Arlen Kotlinski alongside and past Molly Taylor. Taylor on the outside line now as they come towards the right hand. They're surely going to slot into P3. So as RXR's dropped another position. RXR drops down to P4. So at the minute will be equal. They would win on countback for number of wins. I wonder if they've got an issue. Remember, they changed the inverter on that car. But perhaps they're not running at full power. This doesn't look like Molly Taylor on maximum attack. Oh, oh there's Munnings right up behind JVXE trying to make a pass on the breaking zone. The two of them going into the funnel. Not through. Munnings spins. Katie Munnings spins on the way in. She's going to have to bang that into reverse. There it is. And slot back in. So time lost. No problems for Gutierrez on board. You were seeing Munnings choose the gears. That goes to show you just how much of a lead they've got on Taylor because that could have blocked the route for Taylor. It hasn't. And actually, Munnings holds on to that third spot. There's Sebastian Lowe. He knows they're absolutely in the position they need to be in. They hold the Continental Traction Challenge five point advantage. They hold P1 in this race. It is Loeb versus Christofferson. How long until RXR are going to get that car out? There goes Andretti United with Timmy Hansen on board. RXR will be closer. The car is moving, Jenny. They're closer than they were thanks to that problem for Munning. So, but it's Timmy Hansen at the wheel. He's not going to be an easy one to pass. Axiona Sainz are now a long way back from RXR. Look at the timing screen. Bottom left. They still haven't left. Remember, they were only a second behind RXR when they came in. And it's X44 leading the way. They have the five points for the traction challenge. RXR trying to do all they can. It's probably not enough now. No, if they were second uh, behind. So five points go for the traction challenge to Loeb. But look, Loeb coming up. He's taking the final bit of the twins what can he do here it's out of his hands really he can just go as fast as he can he's done everything they take the win here in the uh, x Prix for the jurassic x Prix. but heartbreak is it they're gonna have to look over their shoulders can axiona science do anything the win goes to x44 second for jbxe we're still waiting for third place who's it gonna be it's hansen crosses the line in third for andretti united if rosberg x racing cross the line next they are the champions of third ever extreme e winners christopherson punches the air he is delighted the whole team are delighted wow what a final they smashed it Chris, let's just have a look at the final race results so it was axionia science in fifth place rxr managing to get fourth what they needed exactly what they needed andretti united in third place the battle for third in the championship standings jbxc seems to have taken the way and x44 their first win of the season what a time to do it what an amazing final it was. Absolutely appropriate for this championship. And it's time for this. Watch out. Don't get wet. Bang! <laughs> Kevin Hansen, the pro at the champagne, isn't he? Always gets it launched, first of all. Proper champagne fight. It's the end of the season. They can actually enjoy a drink if they want to, can't they? Wonderful performances from them all. A brilliant way to round out the season. A nerve-wracking end to the season but a cracking race. Yep, so much was at stake today and it went down to the wire. Absolutely level on points, as you can see. Rosberg X Racing, 155 points. X44, 155 points. So RXR take it by virtue of their three wins compared to X44's one. It is JBXE who take third place in the championship from Andretti United. A shout out to them as well for the other win this season. Apt Cooper XE, Axiona Science are in their second final today. Veloce Racing. And they're bringing up the rear. Segi TV, Chip Ganassi Racing. Surely they could have had one of those wins this year. They've been so unlucky. And XI Energy Racing. Thank you to every single member of all of those teams for some brilliant entertainment.